looks curly chronicles here i am back and if you are returning it's good to see you again and if you're new thanks for taking a chance and clicking on my video because there's a lot of crap on youtube so shout out to you thanks for thanks for taking a chance today i hope you enjoy the content so today's video is going to be a two-parter um part one is going to be an update on my channel because i it's been a year now since i've come back to youtube uh, as many of you know, I took about 10 years off from YouTube. That is probably the longest hiatus ever. I wish there was a plaque for that because I, I, I want my, give me my flowers, right? But, but no, I digress. But it's been about a year since I came back and started producing content again. And um, I had a certain direction that I wanted my channel to go in. And I just feel like there's a few tweaks that I've been kind of making here and there. And I've been thinking a lot about what I want to produce. And so I wanted to kind of do like an update on that. Uh, and then the second part of the video will be about, <laughs> I know you have questions because I got this blowout that I'm wearing right now. And you're probably like, girl, what is going on? Tell us, tell us. So I will we'll get into that too. So first things first, um, when I came back to YouTube, I decided my channel was going to focus on uh, my life now, which involves gardening. Uh, I love the great outdoors. I love, I just, I'm a very nature loving person. Uh, and so that is the bulk I think of my channel, my gardening vlogs, and just my life as someone who aspires to be a homesteader one of these days uh, and live that simple life. Uh, and then also my hair care is still a part of the channel, but not, not like all the time. I'll have hair videos here and there, but it's not the, it's not the bulk of my content. Uh, but in addition to that, I wanted to add on a little something else. Uh, I mean, I also have the random chats, the random garden side chats, although it's real cold right now. So it's going to be like a fireside chat if I do those now, because it's cold outside and I can't even go take the cat out. I'm like, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to suffer in here with me because it's cold out there. I can't do it. Yeah. Mm -mm. But uh, in addition to like, like those random chat videos that I do, I want to do content on personal style. Now notice I said personal style and not fashion. They are different. A lot of people confuse the two. A lot of people think they are um, identical. Uh, and that is not true. Uh, style, personal style, is your aesthetic. It doesn't really change that much. You can add on a little here, a little there. You can add a trendy item here and there each season or whatever. But you have your basics, you have your structured wardrobe that is pretty much the same, stagnant. It says, it says you. Fashion is the overarching, global, you know, the, the trendiness of, of clothing, what's new, what's coming, what's out of fashion now, you know, it's, it's ever changing, but your personal aesthetic is pretty much the same. It's pretty, it's pretty like ironclad, right? And that's me. I'm not a fashion girl. I don't do designer like that. I don't do the luxury stuff. Um, Every blue moon, it still throws me off because I'm not in LA anymore. So I don't hear that very often. But when I do hear it, I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, go help them. Good job guys, good job. What was I saying? Uh, so fashion and style are very different. You know, fashion is is um, always moving and uh, it's innovative. Your personal aesthetic tends to kind of say the same. It's not to say you can't change your personal style, but it does not change. You typically will keep the same coats, the same style of shoes, the same style of skirts that you wear. They form fit to your body. They work well for your body type. And so that's me. I like to dress for me. I don't do the trends. I'm just not into it. And so I want I really like showcasing my personal style. So I want to show more of that on here. So that's going to be a part of my channel too. And I really hope you like it. I think it's important to balance the field, so to speak. I think there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of fashion girlies out there. There's a there's an oversaturation of fashion content. And I don't, I, I see some personal style content that I really love, but I really want to showcase more of the personal style aesthetic and not focus on just buying a new bag because Rihanna's wearing it or because, you know, some celebrity is wearing it and that becomes like the trend. I think, I think having like your own style is important. And a lot of times people go shopping so much because all they do is wear trendy items. And so if those kind of fall out, now you're feeling like, ooh, this doesn't work anymore. It doesn't, and that's because it doesn't. It was not meant to work for very long. The cold shoulder shirts with the holes in, I couldn't do it. <laughs> so anyway, I feel like I really am going to enjoy that. If you've been watching 
uh, some of the shorts that I produced more recently. You're seeing you're seeing a little bit of the fashion, you know, personal style kind of tilt there, right? So uh, I am looking forward to that, and so that's going to be another part of my my channel. So it, I, I'm working on an intro as well, which I believe is going to be that my channel focuses on uh, nature and gardening and um, you know, outdoors and uh, personal style and natural hair care. Uh, because that's how I started out on YouTube. And of course, there will be the occasional random chats, uh, fireside chat. Uh, I'll call it wood stove side, wood burning stove side chat. That's too long. We're just going to call it a fireside call it day. Let's make it simple. Keep it simple. And so um, I just, yeah, I wanted to give a little update on like where I was going, where my mind was like going with my content. So I really hope that you've been enjoying it thus far. I want to thank everyone who has recently subscribed, you know, in the past few months or so. Um, my numbers are... It's interesting because my content, even though I have 22,230 subscribers, they're not seeing my content. You know, the algorithm for YouTube is all messed up and they don't even push your content to people who are subscribed to you. Even if that person is watching your content currently, if you like don't watch someone's videos for like a few days, it's like YouTube's like, oh, you don't care about that person anymore. Here, let me, let me put something new in front of you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I like that content, can you please? Put it in my recommends, I, like I asked you. I put, I did the bell notification. It's like the bell notification doesn't even do anything anymore. It's so weird. So what I've been doing is trying to uh, go back and like comments uh, from 11 years ago, 10 years ago, sometimes 12 years ago. I know. And um, and just let people know, like, hey, I'm back on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if they're pushing my content towards you as a subscriber, but I'm back. Come check me out if you want to, you know, see what I got cooking up over here. And even some people are like, oh my god, I didn't know you're back. And I'm like, you dope. YouTube is you're failing me right now. So um, I'm trying to kind of go back and go, hey girl, hey, I'm back. <laughs> to a lot of people who um, commented on older videos. Now that segues into this this blowout that I'm uh, rocking right now. So in going to some of these older videos and saying, hey, I'm back, I'm back. I went to a video where um, I had my hair in this style where it was in like a fishtail side braid. And then I had this little um, side kind of bouffant, kind of wavy pinned up piece in the front. I'll put a picture up here so you can see. And uh, there were a lot of people who asked if I would do a tutorial on that 11 years ago. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I ghosted the hell out of y'all. And so in looking at that and replying to some of those comments, I was like, hey, I'm going to do this tutorial. I know it's late. 11 years is, I don't know what kind of late 11 years later is. That's a, that's a whole different type of lateness. And I'm not, I never run on CP time. I'm usually like super early. No, Papa's. Go, 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 go. You're not going to be meowing all throughout this video. This is very late, but it better late than never. So I'm going to do that, as I said, I'm going to do that video and, you know, come check it out, you know, come, you know, make check back in so you can see it. So I decided that I would, um, as some people say, but I no longer say, kill two birds with one stone, um, blow it out, I could do a trim, and then I could film the style. Now I say feed two birds with one scone, one scone. Uh, shout out to Lauren for that, because Lauren Lauren put me onto that saying. It was like a list of of like converted sayings, because that's I mean, killing two birds with one stone. Even though that might have been true in ancient times, it's just a little violent today, <laughs> and it's probably impossible for for many of us to do anyway. So uh, I say feed two birds with one scone, and um, so that's what I did. I blew my hair out, I trimmed it a little bit of it too. Um, but I realized that when I filmed the video, it was filmed in slow-mo. I didn't know that. So I'm, and it was start to finish. So my blow drying was like pass number one, pass number two, pass number three. It was like slow motion. I was like, what is this? I was like, oh no. Oh no, oh my God. So I looked at the next video clip that I had filmed when I you know, come back after doing one part and then I take a break, do another section. All of the clips were in slow motion. So I just said, oh my God. So I think I can use maybe some of it. 
I don't know. Also, when I was blow drying my hair, my blowout didn't work that well either. So it was just like, oh my God. Yeah. Then I realized my right, my, my, my right side, the hair on my right side of my head was a little bit shorter than the hair on my left side. So when I trimmed, I hadn't trimmed this up enough. And I came to that realization after I was pulling some hair apart and I realized it was this and I was like, uh, uh, what is going on? Very nice, I thought I got rid of y'all. And this side was just like, uh, effortless. I had it twisted and braided up at the end, so it's probably still a little bit, you know, a little bit tangled at the end. I didn't do a lot of unraveling and fluffing and all that. I just kind of like, kind of did that. So this side was having a hard time. This side was good. And this side was just a little bit longer, just a tiny bit. So I trimmed it up again. I had to like blow it out again, trim it up. And now my hair feels really good. So. There's that. I don't plan on uh, blow drying my hair often at all. I just really don't uh, plan to do that. It just, I know my hair is healthier if I leave it alone and don't use heat very often. So a couple times a year I may do that, but uh, not, not much. So I said, I'm gonna film it again. So uh, I said, I need to trim it again anyway. So let's just, I gotta get, I don't want any ends that are ratty. I just don't. So I, and I feel like now it's, um, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's still, this side crinkles up sometimes a little bit more on the other side. You know, one side of your hair shrinks up a little tiny bit more on the other side sometimes. So the side shrinks up. So right now it's just a little bit more, a little bit more even. So I'm going to do that video tutorial for you all. And, um, yeah, I think that'll, that'll work out a little bit better. My hair was not as smooth as I wanted it to be when I first did the video uh, also. So I think this will work out a little bit better. It is gonna be a little bit shorter. So my braid my braid may be, you know, it may not hang very, very low, but that's fine. I don't care. I just, I'd rather have healthy hair than have long ass hair. That's, ooh girl, no. <laughs> so, so that's, that's where we're going next. Uh, I have a vlog that I'm probably gonna put out after this video and then I'll probably um, edit this this one uh, with the fishtail tutorial. I'll do that next. So that's what you can look forward to. Um, but yeah, I've been having a ball on YouTube. I've been having a great time. I don't plan on like leaving or anything like that anytime soon. I'm having a great time. Um, hope, I hope you can tell. And I just create, I plan on creating more content and just continuing to just, uh, you know, put out some fun stuff. So I hope you have been enjoying it thus far. Uh, if you're newer to the channel, then this is kind of like what you can expect. And so, yeah, I, I, I'm going to work on my intro and just kind of get, you know, I'm going to make it flow nicely. So I'll, I'll be working on that. I want to do some lives, but I just don't know how I want to do those yet. And then it seems like I never have the right moment to do it. And I want to give like, notice and then, but then if I give notice, I have to make sure I do it. But then I just, what if I get lazy and I don't want to do it anymore? I'll get it together one of these days and do a live, but you know, it's no rush or anything. I don't know how I want to do it. Just like drinks and like, we're just gonna do a live on a Friday night at like six or seven, oh, maybe not six, at like eight on a Friday night or something like that and just have fun, just talk or whatever, I don't know. I like a smaller audience too because it's intimidating to have a bunch of people and then the chat goes fast, I don't even, so I figure I should probably do it live now before, you know, I may get a possible larger following and then it's like daunting to do it, I'm like, ah. So I, I think it's kind of fun to do it when I don't have a lot of people watching. So, and maybe I won't be all nervous or I don't know. I mean, I'm not nervous, but live is different. Live is just like, this is all happening in real time. <laughs> so, so eventually I'll get it together. I'll get it together. Um, oh, and, and currently you can catch me on African Hair Gods Lives. I be in there as much as I can be, even on like Saturday mornings or, or weekend days because it's just so fun. So shout out to African Hair, African Hair God on the very fun live streams. They're so lit sometimes. Sometimes they're more like mellow, chill if he's like doing hair. And then other times it's just, it's just a fun little kiki. I have a good time. So, um, and I, I've even seen a subscriber in there. I saw Baking Cutie in there. So shout out to you girl. Um, but it's fun. So Thursdays, usually Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, I am in there, so. 
y'all should come through. It's fun. Everybody's respectful. Everybody's really cool and chill. It's a great time. So I'm gonna be in there tonight too, because this video is probably gonna go up in a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna go up today. So I'm gonna be in there tonight. So y'all should come hang out. Y'all should come hang out. It's gonna be fun. But um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to kind of do a quick little uh, check in, let y'all know what's kind of what I'm thinking about in terms of this channel, you know my one year since coming back you know has been great and i just really look forward to producing more fun stuff so uh i hope you stay along for the ride if you are new and uh for those who have been supporting me for a very long time i want to say thank you i always want to say thank you so i will see y'all very soon i hope you enjoy your day and uh yeah let's see let's let's see what else i got in store for y'all talk to you soon have a good one